the new content uh, tailored specifically for the House of Wolves, uh, all the new vendor areas, all the new characters. Um, so uh, yeah, it was a great, Please great starting fire. point. Uh, but resolve uh, sand yeah, feeder bounty. Always wanted to Bird visit the reef. Uh, so is there going to be more story and lore this time around compared to like the Dark Below? So uh, Petra will be your uh, main uh, main uh, story agent, I guess. Sure. So um, she will lead you through a series of quests and mm -hmm. the story, the main story of the House of Wolves. Um, yeah, we definitely wanted to make a really uh, coherent, uh, really uh, um, really fun story that I think uh, um, has you hunting down these yeah. uh, House of Wolves. And so I think, uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of story. The uh, the uh, Petra and uh, a few other characters we'll meet uh, shortly. We'll guide you on your adventures through those uh, A lot of people argue quests. that the lore is excellent in the game, but it's all locked away in like grimoire cards and things like that that mm -hmm. you have to get like through a third party mm -hmm. situation. Um, is that something that we could ever viably see in game? Like uh, actually be able to look at our lore in game? As far as grimoire cards go, yeah. um, like it gr in grimoire integration into the game yeah. is, uh, you know, it's something that we've heard. It's a piece yeah. of feedback that we've heard from the community. Mm -hmm. In the House of Wolves, having played it myself, um, I like a lot of the quests. I like a lot of the stories. Um, I like the fact that uh, a lot of the new story missions mm -hmm represent some of the most interesting moments and some of the most interesting aspects of Destiny, but as far as grimoire integration into the game, it's not an announcement we're making right now. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you that um, this is a fresh approach to storytelling in sure. the game, and uh, a lot of work has been done on the House of Wolves since we've launched Destiny, and uh, to me it really feels like an adaptation to our creative process as developers, as storytellers, and uh, you know, a reaction to what players have liked and okay. what they've enjoyed. Sure. One thing I want to ask about Petra is one thing we remember from her when she was in the tower is that she had all sorts of cool weapons and armor pieces and things like that. Uh -huh. uh, are we going to have the chance to earn that stuff again? Yeah, there'll be a full set of uh, Queen's Wrath uh, armor and gear, armor and weapons uh, mm -hmm. that uh, you can acquire in the uh, Prison of Elders. Okay. Is that acquired through drops or is that something? Yep. Yep, those drop directly in the uh, Prison of Elders. Okay, well they'll have the same level light as, say, the 36, what is it, 38 light we're going to or something? Or? Yep, those will be uh, uh, on par with the um, the rest of the 34, content. 34, well, yeah, level 34 yes. light, but yes. the, num the amount of light on the gear, mm -hmm. whatever it is. We'll, uh, we'll inspect all that in a little bit. Cool. Uh, on the subject of the Prison of Elders, uh, you can see that uh, the warden for the Prison of Elders is uh, Varix. Mm -hmm. He is a uh, fallen from the House of Judgment. So uh, what is the House of Judgment, and why is this bastard allowed to be in the tower with all <laughs> of us guardian folk? Sure, he has, uh, he is, the House of Judgment is one of the uh, very old uh, houses of, of the fallen. Mm -hmm. um, he is one of the only known uh, remaining uh, uh, fallen from the House of Judgment. Um, he's gone through a few uh, trials himself. He's uh, missing a few arms there that are now replaced with some mechanical arms. So he has kind of uh, been loyal to the queen. Um, mm -hmm. And so he was able to sort of stick around. He's sort of an informant in some ways. He's also uh, um, someone who, who runs the prison of elders. Um, trying to think, I, and I'm, I'm super excited to have uh, Fallen uh, be one of the uh, characters you interact with. It's such a cool, uh, the Fallen is such a cool race, and to be able to get right up close and have uh, to be able to talk to them and have them. Right yeah. There's there's some interesting uh, bonuses on the gear that he has here. Uh, first off, he's got the uh, what is it? The Judgment Chance. Which uh, where do you where do you get those? The armored cores and weapon cores. Sure. Yeah, those will drop from the uh, from the Prison of Elders. Okay. So, uh, is there a limit on how many times a week we can run that? Yep. Uh, you'll have uh, there'll be lockout weekly lockouts and okay. uh, multiple. We'll talk more about it when we get into sure. the prison of elders. Sure, sure. But there'll sure. be um, there'll be multiple challenges that you can partake and get uh, get drops, and then uh, you can turn them into barracks for uh, the high level gear. And there's also some uh, some fun new uh, uh, perks to them. Shank burn. I'm noticing on this auto rifle, which yep. isn't a pea shooter. So thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually got decent impact on it instead of being high fire rate with nil impact as we've been used to. Right. <coughs> Necrochasm. <laughs> so yeah, we have a, a full suite of uh, all fallen themed, uh, you know, uh, class items. We have ships, mm -hmm. uh, one from uh, each house, which is uh, pretty cool. You've got the House of Winter, you've got the House of Devils. Um, you can collect all the different ships. Um, also have um, shaders specific to those houses. Okay. So you can dress like your favorite fallen. Sure. Does his inventory uh, rotate? 
Uh, so, uh, right, so each week there'll be different uh, rewards uh, up at the top where it says Prison of Elders. You'll sure. have. Sure, uh, well, that's fun. Okay. Yep. And then, like any component of the Destiny endgame, that stuff has a weekly reset. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like the Nightfall Strikes, like mm -hmm. things like that. And we really wanted to uh, introduce the ability to sort of preview the gear that you'll be able to win instead of it sort of being hidden, like, you know, uh, not sure what you're going to get. Like, okay. that's why we're showing some of the items on his inventory himself, so you can kind of uh, that's awesome. know what you're looking for and kind of work towards it. Yeah. And of course, uh, you know, you'll Feel free to shed any opinions. Um, you know, some secrets awaiting inside the Prison of Elders Less itself. Less chance yeah. in the yeah. progression yeah. system, like, yeah. But you're also, you know, obviously there'll always be... Uh, Is his inventory going to run on a pattern? Or Sorry or for not adjusting this properly. It like I said, folks, we've watched this a bunch this week. I don't know. I'm not positive on that. I think, uh, My I think it's... Queen. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. You stumped us. Well done. So actually, well done. So we want to make sure... Oh, I, I know why it's, it's, it's actually fitting. a pattern. We want to make sure that um, if, you, if you're playing uh, consistently... Sort of like how Iron Banner is, where it's like you can yes. more or less guess when yep. Yep. it's going to be the right week. Sure. Right. Yep. We want to make sure that people can, if they're playing constantly and playing the Prison of Elders, they can work through and collect all the gear eventually. So, yeah, we don't want the same uh, pants coming up, you know, four times sure. in a row. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. cool. Diversity. Variety, but predictability. I know well. exactly what Lord Saladin will have as an mm -hmm. inventory this mm -hmm. week uh, when the Iron Banner comes back up, and this week in the Bungie Weekly update. I promise I'll tell you what that stuff is. So there are some elements here. Mm -hmm. Ten. Huh? They're just. I, I noticed that they huh. they stand to attention when you walk up. So this is the Queen's Guard. Mm -hmm. Just another element to sort of create the living social world of Destiny. Yeah? Sure. Set pieces. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where's the Queen at? Queen is safe and sound I want to go look at her. behind those doors. So check this out. Who's this guy? This is strange. Where are we headed? Oh, down. We are headed down the, the to, to the good brother. The candle. The candle room. You're immune to candles in the game, by the way. <laughs> yes, it of course. Just, of it course. just doesn't phase you. It's fine. Yeah. It's yeah. just solar energy. Now. Yeah. Okay. Good. A very low amount of solar. Solar energy. candles. Yeah. Solar candles. Perfect. Yeah. So this is Brother Vance. He is a disciple of Osiris. Mm -hmm. And uh, what role does he play in the what House of Wolves? He will be the uh, emissary of Trials of Osiris. He will be your guide. He will uh, be the person uh, you come to for rewards, um, to buy new uh, passages. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk more about that, obviously, uh, uh, in the coming, uh, coming Twitches. Yeah, but yeah. We have a whole reveal plan for the Trials of Osiris. Mm -hmm. So we'll delve deeply into uh, the details that will govern that competitive multiplayer special event. Okay. And uh, you can see that uh, there are different supplies here, different rewards. Uh, much like Iron Banner, there are even uh, consumables that affect the way the event plays out. Sure. How often does it, you say the event runs? It's uh, every weekend. Every weekend? Yep. Okay. Yeah, until the reset. So it starts Friday and then okay, uh, great. And then till, till Tuesday. That's fun. Mm -hmm. And as far as his gear and stuff, I guess we can't look at that. Just right. yet, his, right. his stock. You can look at it. I think. Uh, yeah, I oh, think actually, no, it's not. No, there. we can't. It's no. Uh, yeah, the stock doesn't refresh yeah. for some well, time. Yeah, we'll we'll get into the gear and, and some of the different perks and some of the tactical analysis of how that stuff performs when we actually enter the uh, trials of Osiris. When we actually participate in the next stream uh, okay. a week from now, we'll be here and uh, we'll send in triple. You could say I'm triple excited about it. Triple excited? Yeah, about triple yeah. excited to get wrecked? Yeah, I'm triple excited to get wrecked. And yeah. Uh, yeah, he's going to be, I'm going to team with him because I don't want to lose. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so triple neck, wreck, triple neck. Triple neck. <laughs> triple neck. Gross. Yeah, right. yeah triple <laughs> neck. Like a multi headed hydra. Yeah, triple wreck is on an all pizza diet, so he's going to be triple <laughs> neck TV by uh, probably next week. It'll be great. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be great. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you can gather from our, our puns and our, our hint dropping here, uh, Triple yeah. Wreck will be here next week and we'll go into the trials of Osiris and uh, we'll see exactly what Brother Vance has in so store for us. I think uh, we've released some of the images of the gear, right? Which is, oh, yeah. I, I love it, it turned out amazing. Like, yeah. uh, obviously the hunter gear is the best. Um, is it? But yeah, sure. Don't, let's not, let's <laughs> not. Looks like a mummy, it's got all the bandages. Warlock for life, warlock for life. all of it. Uh, yeah, all of it makes you look like an Egyptian king, so it's pretty cool. Sure. Yeah. And uh, he's got the you know eye of Osiris on the floor here, so mm -hmm. he's got some he's got some fun yeah, and some riches in store for all of us. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to back away slowly because he's obviously a badass. All right. Yeah. I mean, he's got a tablet, so <laughs> he's got what's on his tablet? <laughs> <laughs> this is the scores, the names of the winners. Yeah, it's just stuff rotating. Uh, all That's the nice. gear that he's yeah. going to have for you. So this place is a little bit of a mess, you know. Mm -hmm. Like the tower is this really nice manicured. Mm -hmm. paved in Disney place where, you know, you get to walk around and feel like humanity is all, you know, polished up despite the collapse of the Golden Age. But 
Talk to us a little bit about the art style of the reef, because this really feels a lot more utilitarian to me, uh, a little bit more functional and lived in. So what's going on here? Yeah, so the, um, the reef is a very dangerous place. Um, it's full of uh, pirates and, you know, danger and uh, derelict spaceships. You can see some of the uh, uh, broken ships out in the, in the skybox. Um, so it's where the, uh, um, the Awoken live. So they've, uh, w with it being so dangerous out there and so uh, sort of hard to live, you've got a, you know, a little bit more uh, um, dangerous atmosphere we wanted to kind of to sell. So things mm -hmm. are a little bit darker, the music's a little bit moodier. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a uh, place out on the outskirts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Has so that, that yeah. sort of uh, has that outer rim feel. You know, the whole uh, House of Wolves is really about you know, bounty hunting and uh, yeah. loot and mm -hmm. meaning, but you know, treasures from the from the queen. And so we really want to sell that kind of bounty hunter outlaw kind of out in the mm -hmm. out in the wilderness sort of hunting criminals and getting treasures kind of feel. So. Yeah, derelict spaceport. But uh, there are some familiar elements here. Welcome to mm -hmm. uh, we've got Missions the bounty tracker bot that has sent us out on so many evenings of uh, grinding and upgrading. <laughs> Uh, are there going to be any fresh quests in this, or is it uh, sort of the same rotation of those and then the different bounties from Queen Dude over here? Well, the uh, the Queen the Queen Dude. The Queen uh, Dude. Petra. Pet Petra. I call Petra her Queen Venge. Dude. Queen, queen Dude. dude? Is fine. Yeah, that's yeah. going to stick now. Yeah, yeah it's going to be your. That's going to be your. Yeah. Pet. <laughs> she knows telekinesis. She's juggling the knife, I noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, you know, so why can't she go Mind out bullets? <laughs> yeah, why can't she go out and use mind bullets on people? Well, sh there's you one of her. She only has one eye, too, so yeah, her, exactly. her depth perception is just awful. Yeah, binocular yeah. vision is indicative yeah. of a hunting species. So sure. she needs, she kn there's strength in numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, guardians could be useful. Okay. Um, so we want to make sure you could do all the things that you'd want <laughs> to do. Queen on. dude is stuck in chat now. Perfect. <laughs> Queen dude. Queen <laughs> dude hype. Stop it. Stop <laughs> writing fiction. The abode de doges. So all the basic stuff we knew you'd want it to do, like all mm -hmm. the utility stuff, like pick up your bounties, uh, master. postmaster, vault, all that stuff's available. The um, vault is, is your vault, so it's not a separate vault. No. Correct. No. Nope. Yeah, so yep. Go ahead and look. You, you yeah. Is that what you anticipate to see in there? That's what I anticipated to see in there are all of these weapons. Cool. And this the second crux that I have for no reason. Look at nice. all that empty vault space. Yeah, look at, all, look at look how, at how all big that vault is. is. I know, it's because I'm holding everything right now for reasons. Very good. It's good. It's good to be armed. Yeah, it is. So this is a self contained marketplace we got as you said we got the bounty tracker we've got the vault so is there any reason to go back to the tower uh, there is absolutely a reason okay. to go back to the tower okay and I'm so glad you asked <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to ask us about the reef um, I mean is are there gonna be any areas that open up similar to say like the iron banana <laughs> There might be. There might be okay. a few secrets in here. We don't want to reveal everything We don't everything want to reveal today. them just yet. Right. Is there a yep. ghost down on this beam down here? <laughs> I don't know. Is there a I ghost? I don't know if there's a ghost. <laughs> did, you, did you already find? Yeah, achievement hunters. Bam. <laughs> Wham. Well done. Did it. Well done. And that's why we're spectating from my point of view, because none of you know where Guthrie is. Oh, no, I'm on the beam. Funny. Yep, yep. No, it looks terrific. Uh, to and your you question. You can die everywhere. It does feel like there are some rooms for expansion in the reef so sure. you know the the world of destiny is always evolving and changing and reacting to your decisions and uh you know the reef is no different so okay great so may 19th guardians is when you can expect to uh invade this space make some new friends make some new enemies we're going to send you on some new adventures a uh, whole new way to experience the destiny end game through um, barracks the loyal yeah, um, the, as far as Endgame goes, you know, obviously Bring me a lot of people were upset about the announcement of uh, no raid mm -hmm. with House of Wolves. Yeah. Um, this is the reef guard. You both played you uh, the Prison of Elders. Would no. you say it's like a raid level activity, or is it going to be just shoot a bunch of guys like a lot of people say? So we want to make sure absolutely that there's a really fun, uh, challenging uh, mm -hmm. end game activity. Um, we wanted to add uh, multiple, uh, uh, both PVP and uh, PVE uh, right. this time. So there's a chance to get uh, end game gear and challenge uh, at that at that level um, like for for both activities. Um, oh, I, 
you know, we, we, we want to make sure there's, you know, challenging, that there's, uh, um, you know, variety. I think we talked about as well, challenge, variety, uh, skill. We want to make sure all that stuff's... Uh, is it something that's going to be stagnant and the same every time you play through it? Absolutely not. Nope. No. Awesome. That's, so yeah, that's really one of the main goals. Yeah, 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 it's different.